All right, you filthy fucking animals. You ask for it, and you're going to get it like a sledgehammer to the head. I'm going to run my big old flappy mouth about some more crazy movies. All right. Sledgehammer to the head time. Prepare yourselves, people. I give you the Texas Chainsaw Massacre, 1974 Gold, directed by Toby Hooper, starring so many incredible people. I don't even need to sit here and go on about this. I've done all I need to do. You've seen it. You've all seen it. You've all seen a billion people just like me sit here and talk about how great this movie is. So there's nothing I can say about it. So instead, I'm going to smoke. Yum, yum. And uh, just talk about how I love the Texas Chainsaw Massacre. All right. Directed by Toby Hooper. You know that. I don't even have to go into the great actors in this movie. You know it. You love it. This movie is fabulous. A great thing about this movie, you know, uh, other than, you know, being, my, you know, uh, one of my top probably two movies in the world, uh, this movie's distribution originally was through the Mafia, through a, a, a distribution company that was ran by the Mafia. Toby Hooper and someone else... Um, I can't remember. It may have been Kim, Hunk Kim Hinkle. They drove from Texas, I think it was, to New York. And, of course, their friends in Texas are going, Hey, you know, we're never going to see those guys again. And uh, they drove up to New York, and they came back with their movie and uh, the print and everything. And they didn't get fed to the hogs or swimming with the fishies or eating in a big plate of spaghetti or whatever the mafia is going to do with you. So, uh, yeah, there you go. The Texas Chainsaw Massacre. Don't forget. The Texas Chainsaw Massacre. Now, listen up, y'all. This movie, there's nothing like it. This movie is the muscle car of American horror cinema. A lot of people wrap this thing up into the whole slasher category like that popped out in the 80s and which, you know, hey, who doesn't enjoy a good blade to the head? But um, this movie was before all that. And this movie's different and a lot stronger than just your uh, mindless killer. This is a family of people. And they're very realistic. I am from the country. I've lived in the country all my life. Man, oh man, uh, this movie's very realistic uh, and, and could happen, for, you know. Look at Ed Gein. I mean, it's based on a true story. We all know that the Texas Chainsaw Massacre was based off of a true story. Of course, it wasn't even in Texas, and it wasn't a family and blah, blah, blah. But still yet, it was a guy, Ed Gein, check into him. Fascinating, fascinating story right there. We'll not get into all that. Save that one for another video. But, um, The Texas Chainsaw Massacre, another life-changing movie for me. I'd never seen a movie so realistic and grim and backyard. I could step out and, and be there, kind of, and you know, the characters in this movie, uh, they're out to have a good day and not long into the movie, uh, their day goes to hell and it never gets better. There's a great uh, actor, Jim, everybody's a great actor, Gunnar Hansen, who played Leatherface, of course, uh, uh, Jim Sadow. He is just an unsung hero of acting to me. That man is such an influence. He came back for part two. He reprised his role in part two, and he got a name in part two as Drayton Sawyer. They didn't have names in the first one. The only time uh, you hear Leatherface, uh, like, you know, a couple times out of uh, the hitchhiker's mouth, uh, hey, Leatherface, uh, hey, Leatherface, give me a hand with Grandpa. But other than that, 
uh, it's uh, the hitchhiker, the cook, and grandpa. But they gave them uh, last names, uh, a last name in the uh, part two, which is so great. Part two is one of the most entertaining movies I've ever seen in my life. That script is maddening. It's beautiful. It's brilliant. And the actors blow me away every time I watch that fucking thing. Wow. Hilarious. Grim dark. Dennis Hopper running around yelling his ass off with a chainsaw. Plus the Sawyer family. Carolyn Williams. Oh my goodness. Uh, but that's all for another video. That's part two. So, uh, yeah. The Texas Chainsaw Massacre. The Texas Chainsaw Massacre. Rated R. You've seen it. I can't talk it up to you. It speaks for itself. And when it speaks, it backs up every word of. Not a fucking gore flick. Not a big spring splatter flick. That's fine. And I love my gore. But that's fine. This movie doesn't need it. Not all movies, of course, have to be gory to be good. But this movie, there's people who argue you that this movie has, you know, the meat hook showing through uh, Terry McMahon when her character Pam gets hung on the meat hook, which Terry McMahon is, is a goddess. What a sweet lady. What just a sweet, sweet lady. Um, she, uh, yeah, she's an animal lover. Way to go, Terry. But uh, you never see the meat hook through her in that movie. You know, there's, there's, this movie's almost a dry movie, really. There's, there's very little blood in it. Um, a lot of uh, great set decoration, man. It's uh, Bob Burns. Wow. He also worked on The Howling, and some of the things you see from uh, Chainsaw have made it into The Howling. Actually, Grandma Sawyer makes an appearance in The Howling. If you don't know that, that's a good little piece of trivia. A lot of people uh, seem to overlook or not know or whatever. Uh, Grandma Sawyer, the corpse of Grandma Sawyer that we see in the original... The Texas Chainsaw Massacre, rated R. Also makes an appearance in Joe Dante's The Howling. In a scene with the great Dick Miller. Yeah, and if you don't know who Dick Miller is, then quit watching this shit right now and go watch some fucking Dick Miller movies, which will lead you right into Roger Corman and all kinds of good directors like that. And I'll talk about all those fuckers in later videos, too. So, yeah, I've run my mouth, and I just haven't said a whole lot. And uh, this movie, uh, it speaks for itself, and we all know it and love it, so why the hell should I even sit here and try to talk something up that can't be talked up? The King right here, man. Yes, sir. Um, I think you need to hear it one more time, just in case you didn't catch the title of this movie, uh... I think it was, uh... The Texas Chainsaw Massacre! Rated R. But, uh... Watch it. And I'm sure you already have. But watch it again. And again. And again. And again. It never gets old. It's always great. So, you know, I'm going to think of about a thousand things I could have spoke of that was really great about this movie. And I'm not going to. Because I'm going to shut the fuck up right now. But, um, thank you for watching this. If you watched this and you've suffered through to the end of this, really, thank you very much for taking the time to listen to me ramble senselessly about a wonderful movie that I'm sure you've seen. And if you haven't, watch it. It spawns some kind of remake and a, a prequel to that remake. I don't look at that. Watch the Texas Chainsaw Massacre and all the Sawyer-related sequels, uh, Sawyer families, uh, Texas Chainsaw Massacre, the Texas Chainsaw Massacre 2, Texas Chainsaw Massacre 3, Return of the Texas Chainsaw Massacre, more commonly known as the Texas Chainsaw Massacre of the Next Generation, and recently there was some kind of, what was it, uh, Texas Chainsaw or Texas Chainsaw 3D is 
shown in 3D. I don't consider that the title, so it's Texas Chainsaw. That was that was interesting. Dan Yeager did a fabulous job of bringing Leatherface back onto the screen. He understood the character. The movie had a lot of problems, blah, blah, blah. A lot of people differ on this movie. That'll settle your mind down with all that indifference. But, uh, or differing, or whatever the hell you're doing, just, uh, anyway. Dan Yeager did a fucking great job of bringing back the character of Leatherface. He understood the character from the original movie, and then he was, uh, mentally stunted, you know, and, uh, I guess kind of deformed. But uh, definitely problems, and, um, a human... A perfectly great human, which comes back to me saying that it doesn't tie into that slasher and it was all before that. It's much more realistic than going into that whole slasher genre. Uh, Jason, you know, great character, whatever. He's hard to stop if you can stop this old guy, you know. Freddy Krueger, a slasher, uh, Mick Krueger, or the earlier really evil Krugers, which I appreciate. Uh, Still, he's coming out of dreams. He's supernatural. He's, you know, Michael Myers. He's he's like the wind blowing through town, killing a few people one night a year. Uh, uh, uh. Now, that is the kind of class that I bring to humanity. So, anyway, uh, Leatherface uh, and the whole family, uh, top of the game, the actors, uh, 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 how they even portray it, wonderful. Uh, just... Uh, Amazing work. It's such a natural thing. And that's partly due to it was shot in the South. It was shot in Texas. Blah, blah, blah. You know, those actors. Those actors. Just like me. They're in the South. They know or have known people like that. Especially the old school people from that time when that movie was uh, shot and everything. But, uh... I guess... Watch the Texas Chainsaw Massacre original, 1974, directed by Toby Hooper. Look up the actors. I could give you all of them. Look them up yourself. That's what Google's for, whatever. IMDb them. Uh, a lot of them right there. Uh, Ed Neal as the hitchhiker. Fucking hilarious guy. Uh, great guy. Look, at, look up uh, the gas station. That's the uh, now refurbished great place you can go and visit. It's the original gas station from the Texas Chainsaw Massacre movie that uh, Drayton Sawyer owns. And uh, it's a big, big piece of film history. So uh, check into the gas station. It's open. Tell them I sent you. Shannon Wallen sent you. The man that suffers from deep rectal itching. That's how you tell them. Roy Rose, look him up, look up the gas station, tell him I sent you. Great guys, great barbecue, incredible amounts of uh, uh, fun memorabilia from horror movies. A, a lot of Texas Chainsaw Massacre, of course, since it's the gas station from that movie. Uh, and they even have cabins you can spend the night for, you know, a small amount of cash with screens. And you can watch the movie right there on the property and all kinds of great stuff. Uh... I'll talk about that another time, too, but look it up. Uh, you may enjoy it. Thank you for listening to me rant and rave about a bunch of nonsense again. You crazy, wacky bastards are nuts for sitting through this junk, but I do appreciate you. Thank you so very much if you did look at this crap, and I'll be shooting you some more garbage soon. Bang, bang! You're dead!